Hello, this video tutorial will get you started using Skyware version 4 for use with your Sky Module development kit. If you have not already done so, please follow the instructions in the Sky Module Quick Start Guide on setting up your development kit. If you followed the Quick Start Guide correctly, your Sky Module will be listed in the upper left hand corner of the Skyware interface. If your reader module is not listed, it may be necessary to reset the reader module using the tactile reset switch located on the host interface board. When a reader module is detected, the software will present the available menu items for interacting with that module. Clicking Configuration will show you the current values for some of the module's settings, which are stored in variables called system parameters. The default system parameters are loaded from the module's non-volatile memory at startup and can be changed at runtime. Changing any of these parameters and then clicking the Apply button will update the values of these parameters stored on the module's volatile RAM. For instance, changing the host interface protocol from USB to serial and then clicking Apply will cause the module to cease USB communications and look for further instructions on its serial port. If a serial port interface is not available, you will be unable to communicate with the module. Luckily, the module stores system parameter defaults and its non-volatile EEPROM and a reset of the module will restore the module to USB mode. Clicking the Save as Defaults button, however, will cause the system parameter values stored in the module's non-volatile memory to be updated and overwrite the previously saved defaults. Take care in overwriting default values as this could render your module inoperable in your environment. Lastly, the Configuration section offers a feature to update your device's firmware to the latest releases. These firmware updates offer bug fixes and added functionality and can be found in SkyTech Support Portal. Now that the reader module and PC communication is established, we can start reading tags. To start, we'll be testing the read range between our antenna and a tag. Click the menu option labeled Capabilities and then Read Range if it is not already selected. Place one of the tags including your development kit near the antenna and you should see the tag detected and listed in the left hand column under the reader module. Tags currently in the readers field are shown in bold and previously seen tags that are not currently available are shown in gray. To clear the list of tags, click the clear button. For this demonstration we will be using the SRX 4K tag type, however you should choose the tag type that matches the type shown for your tag in the left hand column from the drop down and then click start. This will put the reader into loop mode, continually scanning for tags of the chosen type in the reader's field. This can be used to tune your reader's antenna or verify the read range of your device with a specific tag. See skytech.com slash videos to find a video tutorial on tuning the antenna included with your development kit. Now, move the tag around at various distances from the reader's antenna as well as different angles and orientations. When a tag is successfully detected, the green indicator will light and stay lit while the tag is within read range. Typically, you want to align the tag parallel with the antenna so that the strongest part of the magnetic field travels perpendicularly through the antenna coils. Now that we've established communication between the reader module and a tag, we can start looking at some of the tag's memory features. When a tag with memory is listed in the reader's field, a memory option will become available in the menu. If enough memory is available, a secure memory option will also become available. This feature is discussed in the Sky tutorial using Sky Security Features. Clicking the memory menu item will cause the tag memory to be read and displayed in the interface. Clicking the binary hex or ASCII input fields will cause the data to be displayed in the selected format. We can use these fields to insert some data to send to the tag. Clicking right will cause the data to be written to the tag's memory. We can verify that this memory has been written to the tag again by issuing a read command. Lastly, we will be looking at the anti-collision capabilities of the reader. This feature allows the module to scan for multiple tags in the reader's field at the same time without interference. To access this demonstration, click the menu item labeled Anti-Collision. For this demonstration, we will be using the tag type MyFair Ultralight. A few of these tags are included in your development kit. Now, place a few of these tags in the reader's field before clicking Start. 
Skyward will list all my fair ultralight tags in the field as well as the amount of time it took to perform the anti-collision algorithm. This concludes the getting started video. To learn about Sky Security features and play with some demo security applications, see the video entitled Using Sky Security Features.